Gabe, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be here. I want to immediately We're both get wearing it. blue. Go, yeah, go, yeah, go. We're both just wearing go. blue. I just have to call it out because you got a nice color story today. I appreciate it. And I'm also wearing the sneakers that you gave me as a gift that are pink and green. So I'm coming out full. I, I designed those sneakers. And they're one of a kind. And you wear, and, you, and also you even have little purple in your little socks. Purple Can you socks. see that? They look, say, at it, look at I'm wearing a tie dye. We got a nice little thing going today. We're stylish. There's maybe. I, I don't know that there's anybody on this planet that there's not one podcast. I would say uh, for sure in the continental United States, at mm. least the lower 48. Not sure about Hawaii or Alaska. I'm not sure about Europe, but I can confidently say the continental United States, no podcast has uglier feet than Sal and I's podcast. Yeah. My feet look like they're shaped like triangles and they look like they're made to be in high heels. They look broken and Sal's feet first, are a haunted yeah. house. My, my feet, are t well, first of all, my feet, if I'm standing in my natural disposition, right. uh, my knees are straight, my feet are out like that. I'm, yeah. what is it called? I'm, I'm not bow legged? Bow, no, no, because bow legged is when your legs go like this. Okay. But my feet are like duck feet you have duck feet. And I, my mom tells me, so when I was little, I used to lay on my stomach. Shout out Mrs. They, they shout out turned, Sal's mom. They turned out, shout out to Sal's She's mom. She's a listener. <laughs> and, <laughs> She's and, on and, the Patreon. And, and, that's it. and that's what she says, go to the Patreon. That's what she says is cause that. But it is, I hate it. And, right. uh, you know, people don't really like notice, but I hate it. Uh, I will tell you this. I don't know what happened, but I hit my left big toe. Okay. On the side of my mom's iron post bed about 30, 35 years ago. Okay. And it... It hurt to the high heavens, and I cried. And I know that that day I broke my foot. Right. And it went unaddressed. Yeah. It went. I, no, I didn't go to the hospital, and my mom was like, you know, maybe put a heat pack or an ice pack on yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. What? And now my foot, from that day on, it, it, it made a left turn in Albuquerque, and my big toe on my left foot now makes a hard left. Yes. I can't run or jog because of it. A lot of people think I'm, I don't want to uh, exercise because right. I just don't want to. Yeah. But if I start to run, the toe... That decided to leave. He he went all the way well, all the way home. Right. And but this this foot, I gotta be honest. Actually, this foot is a it, it can model. This foot is like a model foot. It's a beautiful like, foot. If you wanted to like paint it or like throw a, a Tava sandal on it or and and it's in a picture. It's got a bit. It's not has, doesn't have a good arch, but everything about it for a man's foot is very welcoming. This foot here, it feels like it's been in some scuffles. And uh, if you look at it, you'd be like, it's an ugly foot. This is the foot that contributes to the podcast that we have being the ugliest feet podcast. The this right guy, foot. I just want to make sure this guy right here. Well, you is, keep you keep assigning the gender to it, and I would I would argue the beauty of, the beauty of that foot. It might be a woman that foot. You keep saying the guy. I would say she yeah. is a beautiful foot, and he's an ugly foot. Because like everything else, feet are on a spectrum. Right. Right. So right. I got my female foot and my male foot. We got a female foot and a male foot. I got. Look, you think I'm joking around? Yeah. Take a look at this foot. That's just, yeah. Take a look at that. Look, I mean, look, I just pulled off a It's sock. a gorgeous foot. I just pulled off a sock. But everything's where it should be. Yeah. You know? Uh, don't don't mind the hideous. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, that, you see, now you got some stuff going on. See? Because this guy is coming. This, well, I got to be honest. It feels like this is the nightclub and everyone else is trying to get uh, in. And, Sal, if I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I'm being dead serious. Yeah. This is the way my foot rests naturally. Are you doing something... No, no, this is this, my how my no. foot rests. So, I don't mean to. I look, I, look at me. Look at me. You? I support you to the day you die. I'm not trying to be here and get on the bandwagon that you have ugly feet. But you know, God bless you. Everything about right. you. I love you. I You're sweet that. kid. You got you got a nice jawline. Everything. You know, you just, it's great. coming back. The jawline's coming back. Yeah, but but what's happening here is. Uh, this isn't even like if this was a COVID situation. Yeah, everyone's getting COVID. Well, yeah, they are stacked, babe. When COVID toes, because COVID toes is a part <laughs> of the COVID diagnosis. That's a thing. <laughs> no, you it's can, not. Mike. Would you please go, Thomas? Would you please Google COVID toes? So COVID toes. <laughs> <laughs> what the? F no, the oh, that's a fo whoa. Yeah, holy. Google ugly feet, people. Ugly Google feet. ugly feet. Wait, don't even do it yet. Do me a favor. Make a couple of calls. Clear the next two hours. Yeah. And then Google ugly fleet. This uh, is COVID feet. toes. This is a real thing that was happening with COVID. And I said, there's no way that COVID's going to get into my toes because there's no room. Now, let me tell you something. I, this is the way my foot naturally rests. If I go like this, I'm actually using muscle power and it's straining. It will fall in about... Right now. But you're a, I'm not doing you're, that on you're purpose. You're a licensed physical therapist. I'm a licensed physical therapist. So what do you make of your own feet? I have what's called hammer toes. 
Okay, but the Haruto is like what I got going on here, where this one just goes. This one's you going. You want to pull that one out? I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, I mean, we're on the podcast. So I mean, if you really, this guy is going. If you, see, I mean, if I put them next to each other. Uh, yeah, that guy is up, and that yeah. guy is going all the way to the other end. There, right? You see that? But this guy right here, really, honestly and truly, really, I got to tell you, he's like a model. But yeah, but this is a. Uh, I don't it's know if I've seen that before. Yeah, it's it's a bad foot. It's shaped like a high heel. But you 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 you. You you are athletic. Does it hinder your athleticism? So what happened is, is I've 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 not broken, sprained each ankle ten times each ankle. Because you are you are basketball, basketball player. Basketball player. So the ligaments are so damaged that my foot now has no rigidity. So when I put it, this is my foot at rest. I mean, I gotta, look at me. It it looks like. All four of the ones besides the big got sliced off in just one swoop with like a samurai, right. and then you glued them, yeah, back on. And if that's harsh, no, I, it, I'm only being like I'm only no. because I love you. Uh, true story. It change my opinion about you. No, but I didn't even know that about you. My father told me. Obviously, I didn't know. My father told me this is a true story, word for word. I don't know if I told you this. <laughs> I, I swear, uh, I was born. Let's break it down. Can we should we should get like a little like a little music drop that is like yeah. when it's a, when it's a, when it's a Mr. De Stefano. Yeah. you know, drop like yeah. it's like. So, these are these are true birth stories. This is from what my father told me. I, obviously, I can't verify, but. This is what I was told. I was born, I came out of the womb with my thumbs flexed in on both hands. So I was born exactly just like this with my thumbs. It's, I forgot what the name is. It, it might be called hammer thumb. No, I'm sorry. It's hammer toes and piston thumbs is what it is. What, I think, I, I How th is that not the name of your next special? I think, <laughs> yeah. Is it piston thumbs? Um, trigger I, finger. I'm sorry. It's called trigger thumb. I've never I had heard trigger of that. thumb and hammer toes. Yeah, trigger thumbs. So that's what <laughs> I. I, I, I got to be honest. I like piston fingers yeah, better. I thought it was piston. Yes. So I was born like this. You see, trigger thumb and then also hammer toes. So in 1984, when I was born, they really weren't. The science wasn't there yet. So my my mother was told right in front of my father. <laughs> uh, she, literally, she put. I was still, my father said I still had blood from the placenta on me, was put on my mother's chest, and the doctor immediately said, ma'am, you have a beautiful baby boy. Both his hands and feet are broken. <laughs> you, do, you do a bit about this, don't you? Well, the thumbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he said both his hands and feet are broken. <laughs> And my dad said that was within the first 15 <laughs> seconds of my life. <laughs> so they thought that both my hands and feet were broken, but it turned out I have a condition called hammer toes and trigger thumbs. He said, Mrs. Stephanie, you have a beautiful baby boy. Both his hands and feet are broken. He's got a bad case of yeah. the pisties. And the pisties, and my father you also. Got the digits. So you add that, and my father also. I think I may have said this on another podcast. Also had to pay someone, I think, upwards of twenty five hundred dollars, which is an mm -hmm. astronomical <laughs> amount of money in nineteen eighty four with a working couple like my parents who did not have any money, but my dad is a degenerate gambler. Twenty five hundred dollars because he gambled that I was going to be a girl. He gambled on my gender, that and is he had all to. All you need to know: the man is a legend. The man's a legend, the Tampa man is a Tony. Legend. Tampa Tony, who's now back on Staten Island. And Tampa, Tampa Tony is what you call him? Tam well, Do you know that Roy Wood Jr. Right. used to, they used to be a girl that was very well known in a neighborhood named Tampa Tony. Interesting. I, he did my podcast like a few years ago, and we, the episode was called Tampa Tony. Well, did, I told you what happened with my dad. I don't know what the, my dad, this was in July. It was July 5th, okay? I call my father. Call him up. You know, we had had a barbecue, whatever. You know, my family. I call him up. You mean July 5th, 2020? July 5th, 2020. Okay. I call my father and I say, uh, what's up, dad? You know, like, what's going on? And he goes, I'm not, I goes, no, not, not too much. Just by the pool. And I said, I said, oh, by the pool. I said, uh, wh wh where'd you go? Do you have like a friend? Like, where'd you go? Like, do you, is in New Dorp? Is there a pool? And he goes, I swear to God, Sally. He goes, no, I'm in Florida. And I said, what? what do you mean? I talked to you July 3rd. <laughs> you, were, you were in Staten Island. He goes, yeah, me and your stepmother drove down to Florida. We live here now. <laughs> and I swear to God. I said, oh, I told you this. Did I say this on the no, podcast already? No, no, but you uh, told me in, you know, in, in life. I said, I said, what are, you, what are you talking about? He, he, he moved. He, moved, he moved away. He moved across the country, and he didn't tell you. His wife, his wife's father, who had passed away, had owned a, a, like a retirement home there that was sitting vacant. 
So they decided in the afternoon of July 3rd, with the COVID spiking, they don't want to be there. They'd rather be in the heat by the pool. <laughs> and they, they'd rather be in Florida. I had coincidentally Isn't supposed to have shows yeah. at Tampa Side Splitters July 21st to the 23rd, which were inevitably canceled. They figured we'll move to Florida. Chris has That's got the show. shows there in two weeks. We'll see him, and then we'll just stay. So they moved into a home in Florida, got a rental truck, moved. Uh, did not we'll tell, tell me you face to face at Side Splitters. And that is not the first time one of my parents has done that to me. I want to say in about 2007, 2008, nobody, maybe 2011, because I was a little bit old, I'd already moved out. My aunt calls me. My mother and my, my, mother and my aunt live in the same house my whole life. Uh, we lived upstairs, me and my mom. My, my, aunt, my, my aunt and my cousin live downstairs. My aunt calls me. She goes, I haven't spoken to your mother in two days. What's going on? I said, I don't know. Like, I haven't spoken to her. Call, phone's off, phone's off. Call, whatever, you know, finally, like, you know, I'm getting nervous, whatever. I call. I call my mom. I said, fine, she picks up. She goes, oh, hi, honey. I didn't have my phone on me. My phone was in airplane mode. I said, what did you put your phone in airplane mode for? Something at work? She goes, no, I'm in Paris. And I said, what do you mean you're in Paris? That's wild. She said, I was on a flight to Paris. That's why my phone was in airplane mode. It takes six hours to get there from JFK. You know nothing of this before this moment. Zero. That's odd. I said, what do you mean? The choice. She goes, she goes you know what, Chris? I've been home. You're out of the house now. I've been home. I've had to check in with everybody my whole life, the last 50 effing years. I said, I was on the computer last night. I went to Expedia. I booked a flight to Paris. I'm here now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alone? Alone. Paris. For a week. Ever been there before? Zero. Your mother went on an intercontinental voyage. Trip. Voyage. Alone. Alone. On the fly. Told you after she arrived... Didn't bring anyone else. Nothing. Did she bring pepper spray? Did she have a Metro card? Like, what did she, it, like your mom, your mom is, your mom, moms, moms don't pick up and leave cross country alone. Explored. What was she going to do in Paris? What was her day and nights like? She, uh, she wouldn't, d d no. What and were, then, what were and, her and, day and And then you like? think, and then you think, okay, mom's in Paris. She, you know, now we know she's going to pick up the phone. Doesn't pick up the phone for another four days. Calls me when she's on her way back to the airport. Said she had the time of her life. It was great. Brought me back a snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> what what did she do alone in Paris? Not that people can't travel alone. My buddy Doug used to go on trips alone. <clears throat> Ari goes on trips. People go on trips alone. I, I don't love it. I love dining alone sometimes. Yeah. I don't, I'll go to the movies alone. Yeah. I'll do those things. I've done them and I'll do them. And I'll continue to do them. Yeah. And I actually enjoy them. I like but it. I will never book passage alone. I did it one time. Three years ago, me and my kid's mom were back together now. Eva, it's it's great. Everything's good. But we were at a point where we weren't together. Yeah. My daughter was about 18 months old. And I would book, you know, with an 18-month-old, you know, if it's my weekend to be with her, I didn't book any shows, nothing. I said, I'm going to be with my daughter from Thursday night. And I would bring her back Sunday night. Right. I hate the heat. I, one thing I just, I do not like the heat in the sun. It's just, I'm anti that. This is you about, and heat are no good. Ever, I don't love the ever. heat. Don't love the heat. I'm fair skin. I have too many moles. Okay. I have too many moles for the sun. Look at this. Look at this. Skin cancer. I got I got something removed. This you week. got a mole removed? Is, he, is there a yeah. band-aid here? Yeah, there's a there band-aid. There should be. Yeah. Was it is there no band-aid? No, I see oh, the band-aid. Right, right, right. What what they removed the, the I saw something I didn't like. I haven't been to a dermatologist in a cool deck. Right. And I went and I was like, hey, is this yeah. am I gonna die or whatever? And he was like, that's really common. I can take it off right now if you want. Yeah. I was like, how much? He's like zero to two hundred bucks. Right. And I said, let's do it. And he did it in it was 90 seconds later I was out walking out the front door. I have a friend, Dr. Tejas. Shout out Dr. Tejas. Friend of mine. Hey, like, a, like a friend, dermatologist. Like Tejas, like Jose Tejas? He has removed multiple, I'm talking five or less, five or more moles and warts in his living room for me. No office. <laughs> I've shown up, knocked on the door, and he's, he did it once. I swear, Sal, I swear to Christ. Wow. One time he removed something on my nutsack that was like a it wasn't a ward I thought it was a ward it was a skin tag he said it wasn't a ward it wasn't STD nothing it was a genuine skin tag removed it I never we were watching Sunday Night Football you pulled out your sack in his living room during Sunday Night Football just me and him Sunday Night Football he had buffalo sauce buffalo cauliflower sauce on his fingertips <laughs> when he cut <laughs> I'll never forget does he have a license <laughs> yeah he's a white yeah. doctor tell no, us. that doesn't sound like he like he was surgery ready no, no, no. Normally, you got to wash your hands in a solution and maybe put on gloves. No, he just, he, the guy, he's, he's just. touching your penis with things known to have a Scoville Go rating. with the scalpel where he's kind of, he was, he's just, because it's so easy for them. It's so easy for them. It, well, that's what, I, 90 seconds. And I, I was looking at this thing for weeks being like, I may die. No, no, no. 
No, yeah. And it was 90 seconds. And this guy touched, you had buffalo balls on Buffalo that. balls. And your parents left you without any warning. And I got to be honest, it looks like your toes are trying to up and leave. I know. My toes do not want to I feel like your toes are trying to get to Paris one way or another. They're trying to get away. But so things have impressions. So this happened to me. I told you my daughter's 18 months. I thought it was my weekend coming up. I had it wrong in my head. I call my kid's mom Thursday night. I say, hey, I'm going to be 20 minutes late uh, to, to, to pick up the baby. I'm sorry. She goes, well, we're three hours away. I said, well, that's interesting because how are you going to get back in 20 minutes? Uh, you know, I have to pick her up in 20 minutes. So it's 7 p.m. or bedtime. She goes, no, no, it's my weekend. She goes, we're in mi the middle of Pennsylvania with my sister and her family. And I look back. I said, oh, my God, it is your weekend. Like, I didn't know. That I'm sorry. Like, and she goes, yeah, no, no problem. But, like, we will not be back till Monday morning with your daughter. So, so then I have no shows, nothing to do. I looked at the forecast. It was going to be like 98 degrees, 100% humidity. Oh, no, no, shout out 98 degrees. Shout out 98 degrees. Yeah, Nick Lachey, Nick great. Lachey. And, uh, and everybody else. And it's, yeah, the, uh, and, and the, the Lachey uh, brothers and then the Lachey fat brothers one. brothers and then, well, I didn't say that. You did. Yeah. 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 I yeah. Did, not I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to cast stones as I sit here with, uh, you know. Uh, and I have to be honest with you. Now that I'm looking at a picture of 98 degrees and I just inadvertently said the fat one, I apologize. I would kill to have his body because he's. There, he's, is, no, there is no fat one. There is no fat one. I he's think you're fat. thinking of maybe like. Uh, He's actually know. not fat. The other ones are just so jacked that he's the one who's just not jacked. What do you think the, the other guy, and I mean, I apologize I don't know their names. This is not to be a slight of them, but what do you think happens? Like, Nick Lachey, like, what do you think the other guys in the 90 degrees, like, uh, do they just not sing anymore? I don't know like what they do. Like, if singing is what you love and you, and you make it, like, are they still singing? Do you I think know, they, I do know, they find another career? Like, I don't even know. I know I, Nick Lachey owns a beautiful apartment in Cincinnati. Somehow I, I saw it. I'm sorry, what? Nick Lachey owns an unbelievable apartment in Cincinnati. You saw it, meaning like you were in it? I was in it. You were in Nick Lachey's apartment? I was in, in, he wasn't there. But I was, in, <laughs> I was in Nick Lachey's apartment. Wait, I'm sorry. It's, I was doing the Liberty Funny Bone. Shout out Liberty Funny Bone, Cincinnati. Yeah. And one of the people who worked at the club had the keys to Nick Lachey's apartment. Why? I think that... Why? I think that they... Cleaning service or something. Nick Lachey doesn't really frequent it. Does Nick Lachey know you were there? He knows now. Wow. <laughs> nothing You're was taken me or touched. Somebody nothing. from the Funny Bone was, had a cleaning service access to his house. And then what did you do there? We ju he just was like, oh, do you want to see something cool? I swear to God, I'm not lying. I swear to God, we were at a bar, whatever the downtown Cincinnati is. Me and Mike Cannon, shout out Mike Cannon was there as well. Mike Cannon, Mike Cannon. love you. And he just says, do you want to see something cool? And we think he's going to pull out a phone. And he goes, you want, I said, yeah, so we want to see something cool. He goes, I'll show you Nick Lachey's apartment. Bro, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. That, to me, is the most insane thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Yes. If Nick Lachey is listening, and we know he is. Yeah. We know he is. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah, of course he is. Huge fan of Oz, Nick Lachey. Huge. 90 By the degrees, way, I think I would potentially put them at the top of those boy bands. I love 98 degrees. Pimp, can you pull up my Instagram for one second and just scroll back to the beginning of quarantine? Very appropriate right now. Yeah. Uh, I, I did a colored pencil uh, drawing of Nick Lachey. Nice. Uh, just to kill some time just during kill the, some time during the quarantine. Yeah, uh, right. yeah. If you just go uh, like just scroll back to like March, you'll see this beautiful ditty. Uh, that Nick I Lachey. Did. I, it's just my his general, brother's my name general. Is uh, I would just go to my Instagram. I know the songs though. I know all the hits. Yeah. So just scroll. Just uh, there it is, right there. That's Boom. I wow. drew that of uh, I colored it of Nick Lachey. You're insanely he's talented. His, he's pulling. No, I didn't draw that, but oh. I colored it. Oh. But but I but also it's a great color job. You, I was gonna say you're insanely talented. You, what, what's the date on that? Uh, April twenty first. I did. A, I penned a beautiful Nick Lachey uh, ink there, and I, I and I just said, give me just one. I don't know, Jay. So shout out to the ninety eight degrees. Yeah. Uh, but this, thank you, Nick. The Lachey. guy who from the Funny Bone had the stones. Yeah. To to breach. Yeah. All trust protocol everything. Yeah. And you. And what, did you have a drink? Did you look at all the rooms and walk out? We did, looked you, at, did he have to go up there because he had to walk the dog? Like, what? why did you, was he really just, I'm going to show you this guy's apartment? Yeah, because I don't think he actually lives there. And it's not in Cincinnati. I think it was in Covington, Kentucky. Okay. Oh, yeah. Which is close. Right over the bridge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, that was a thing that happened. And I'm sorry, Michael Cannon, Mike Cannon wasn't there that time. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm blanking. And so what was the apartment like? Was it was it Dick's Gorgeous. Like? Was this at the height um, no, this was a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. Floor but, to ceiling windows, 
I mean, you know, beautiful view of, of downtown Cincinnati because it's uh, Kentucky, but b- gorgeous. Wow. And we, we didn't do anything. We didn't do nothing. Opened it up, took a look around, left. Okay. Left, and then Still. we went to Skyline Chili. Okay. Yeah. Still, though, if it's, I was Nick Lachey. I wouldn't if, be happy hearing that yeah, right I now. Mean, right now, who knows how he's reacting as he listens live. But if I was Nick Lachey, I would really, really have some, t- have, I would take umbrage Nick, with. if you'd like to come on the podcast. Nick, I, I'm a fan. If you'd like as to come am on, I. Yeah, but can you, would you out this person live on the podcast? I don't remember his name in fairness. But th- you know where, you, you know the date, the time, and you know where he's from, right? Absolutely. Maybe, maybe we can go on a little, no, but you can't, un, you can't throw this person to the wolves. If I'm being, you, 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 you participated. If I'm being honest with you, li- looking back retrospectively now, if I'm being honest with you, I'm not 100% sure he worked for the club. He told me he worked for the club and I bought that. I didn't see him in the comedy club. Oh, I only saw him at the bar and the end. Of the so club. a person approached you. Let's just break it down. Yeah. Let's break it down for what it is. You're in Ohio. I'm in, in Ohio. A after person the approaches shows. you. You don't know. He said. He said. I saw you at the show. I work at the club. <laughs> Let me buy you but a drink. Who knows if that's true? Who, you haven't fact checked that. I haven't fact checked. And that then he said, straight. "Who knows if it was Nick Lachey's apartment? Maybe this person is trying no, to get you." No, it was Nick up. Lachey's apartment. He had all pictures. It was Nick Lachey. Unless yeah, somebody did he have all pictures of himself up. Well, there was pictures of him and his family. Unless somebody has pictures of Nick Lachey's family in their apartment. Okay. Which is possible. Right. Have There's somebody to, in this. Have world. you ever been to my spare bedroom? I was gonna say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dog the bounty hunter. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Nick Lachey. What, you want to talk about handsome? Yeah. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Handsome. So, oh, wait. So, nice so, so let me get back to... Um, yeah, where were we? I picked up my daughter. Uh, yeah. You know, my daughter. I look, I look at the weather report. I look at the weather report. I look at it every day. Get and it. I, see, relatable. I see 98 degrees, humidity, like you can't believe, middle of August. I hate that weather more yeah. than anything. Yeah. I was so looking forward to seeing my daughter. I had no shows. I was now going to, going to sit in my apartment in the depression because it was sunny and humid out. Right. Without my daughter for four days, I said, I'm not going to do it. In that very moment, yes. it must have been 7.45 p.m. In that very moment, I, had, I was you know, three, four blocks away from my apartment. I looked at the weather app. I looked at the weather app. And I, I blew the National Geographic weather up. I s- s- scanned out a little bit like this. I looked for somewhere it was rainy and cold. I found Edinburgh, Scotland. It was 55 degrees and raining all for the next four days. I went upstairs, packed socks, underwear, a few T-shirts, and a couple of sweatshirts. Got my Patagonia jacket, which is very easy to cram in. I love a Patagonia. It's versatile. It's lightweight, yet it gives you the warmth you need in the pinch. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah. Beautiful. Opened up my. Don't go out with the natural feather in the rain, though. I hope you had. Nat- I hope you had synthetic. I have. I just went through this whole rigmarole at the Patagonia store myself. I want to say I want synthetic. Which, by the way, mom, if you're watching the show, your Christmas gift, nice Patagonia jacket. Finally got one for you. Um, it's beautiful. I hope it fits. I put go on the Amer. I'm sitting in my apartment. I put my car in the lot. I go on the American Airline app. I'm sorry, the Delta Airline app. Book a flight at 11:15 p.m. So you did it. Direct you went alone to Edinburgh, Scotland. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Edinburgh, Scotland. Got an Uber in literally four hours, four or five hours. I was on a flight going to Edinburgh, Scotland with just a book bag of stuff. I stayed there for three or four days on Hotel Tonight. I would get a different hotel every night. Why? Had the, because oh, I just, you want to move. I want to move an experience. I did a show at uh, uh, the Stan Comedy Club there. Had a great time and came home. That's what I did. When Do I you land- feel that... You are so happy you did it because it was such a unique experience, and uh, you may even do it again. Were you like that was cool, but I've I've done enough of that. I'd never do that again. Like, where do you net out on the experience? So I'll tell you what. It, it was a little shocking because then I get back Sunday night. I pick up my daughter Monday morning. Her mom asked me how was your weekend. I said it was good. I went to Scotland, and she was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then she goes, "Okay." So I had, <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. Okay. I swear Scotland to God. Scotland is just and, funny. And she couldn't, but she was like, all right, um, you know, and, and just, and again, it's, I don't know what it is. I just, I, the same thing. I brought my daughter back a, a snow globe. It's just something that. Uh, what's hap- the, what, what is, is it snow globe? Well, was the first time it ever happened when your mom got a view in Paris? Or no, is it, tra- it was just some tradition? Just a snow globe. Was- I, there was a time in my life, there was a span from like, 
even, you know, like, I don't know what it was. Let's call it 15 to 20 years old. Yeah. That, like, on the holidays, I bought my mom a snow globe. Like, right. she, she, my mom, my mom's the mom that has a break front, and it's, like, yeah. dishes. Like, yeah. the dishes with the pictures on them. Yeah. And they have their own little stands. Yeah. And then she has all those little, like, figurines. Right. So, I, I, I understand, I understand the snow globe world. Yeah, it's The so- Disney store. Mm-hmm. Which I don't know if it even exists anymore, but it was like a big shout out Disney Plus. Shout out Disney Plus. Shout out the new Mulan. Loved it. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I didn't see it. You know, uh, it's a great movie. I was just talking to someone yesterday. They're like, uh, I, I was, I was, I was getting a haircut, and they were like, uh, "Have you seen um, uh, Shrek?" It's fantastic. I can't, never seen it. So I'm like, oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. South, 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 yeah, south, yeah. south, south, yeah, south, yeah. south. You've never seen the movie Shrek? I don't really get, I don't really dip a toe in all the Pixar slash new, I, you know, I don't have any youngins, young, young, young. I know they make them for adults and everything, but I've never seen Shrek. And then they were like, well, you've seen Mo- Mo- Mulan. Mulan? Moana? Mulan. Moana. Oh, yeah. These are Mulan. Both. Mulan and Moana. Mulan. I said, no, I haven't. They said, you're crazy. Then they said, have you seen Ice Age? And I said, no. And they said, you're crazy. And I, I don't see these things. I mean, Pim, you, just but, get ready to get the Hey Babe button. Right here. <laughs> oh, really? Sal, are you communist? What do you mean you've never seen Shrek? I It's so infused in culture now. I know there's the donkey. It's Eddie Murphy. Shrek is Michael Myers. Is it Cameron Diaz? That's the princess. Is it mind-blowing he's never seen Shrek to you? I tell you right now, what I just told you about Shrek, what I just told you right. is what I know about Shrek. I don't know. A, I don't know. What, I don't know what happens. I don't know. Any, and there's a Shrek two and a Shrek three. Yeah, absolutely. Cameron Diaz, Fiona. Yeah, yeah but I don't know anything about it. Oh my god! But, but why is that? A, why is that a huge thing? I don't because understand. Because it's like, such an iconic move. Well, but then again, I I just came down on you. I've never seen The Godfather or had a pork chop. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, yeah, that, right, 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 so right. that's right. More... Right. So you, but you just you just said, "Hey, babe." Hey, babe. You just asked him for the for the button. But you haven't seen The Godfather. If you go on AFI's list of the 100 greatest movies, yeah. The Godfather is like top 10. Right. This is an animated thing from but a couple of... But it's unbelievable. Like a, By the way, shout out Saratoga Peanut Butter. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. But, but great peanut see, butter. But less than one day, maybe they send us a couple of jars. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, it's a family-run company. I... I it's it's mind-blowing. I've never seen Shrek. Haven't I, seen I, I haven't seen any of the movies. Any of the Disney movies. I mean nothing. You know what is actually why... I saw good- Sing in the theaters. I took my nieces. When you, hopefully, when you have children of your own, if, yeah. you, if you want that, if you guys do that... I want it. Yeah, if you, whatever. If you want to have, you know, we'll adopt whatever, it, you and I, because uh, it, whatever you want to do, if you want, if you want children, what I'm actually so thrilled for you that you haven't seen these movies because sitting down and watching with these kid. movies with your child for the first time yeah. is so because I have to fake I have to fake it like what I don't know the surprises with Shrek or I have to fake like I'm laughing at Lord Farquaad I know the jokes inside and out shout out John Lithgow I know the jokes inside and out you know I know is what's Lithgow happening in Shrek Lithgow's Lord Farquaad is it what is it now Lord Farquaad. No, I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Lord Farquhar. Lord Farquhar, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's Lithgow. Donkey, yeah, Fiona. It's 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 but the gingerbread man. Is it is it for the adults? Muffin man. Is it for adults and kids? Shrek is 1000% for adults. So you you're laughing. Laugh. Mike, will he not you you would die laughing at Shrek right now in this moment no children. I think I saw a clip of like the donkey farting and I was no, like, no, no, I no. get it. Like, this is so, no no, Shrek is so laugh out loud funny. I mean, look at Lord Farquhar. Look yeah, at that guy. I've never seen that. And he's, he's about a foot and a half tall. He pulls the okay. buttons off the gingerbread man. Would you say Shrek amongst all these, what do they call them? Pixelated? Animes, Pixar's? Opinion? I would say Shrek is, in my opinion, yeah. the number one Pixar movie. I would say Shrek. Is it like an animated Princess Bride? In a way. In okay. a way. Shrek's number one, and then Inside Out's number two. Tell me you've seen Inside, Inside Out. Inside Out's with the feelings? Yes. Okay. That, I definitely saw it in a hotel room. With my little nephews. Okay. But it was like I was playing with them while it was on, and so, like, I didn't really get the full thing. You know another one I haven't seen, but I don't want to? Uh, and this reminded me of it because I... Is this a heartstring one? Pulls out your heartstrings? Yes. Cries? Up. Never seen Up. Up. Up is good. Up is I don't want to... I, I, Big I, Hero 6. Ever seen Big Hero 6? Never heard of it. Uh, it's one of those things where it's like you think you know a person. Wreck It Ralph. I never You've never it. seen Wreck It Ralph. I haven't seen anything, anything. So why do you even have Disney Plus? It was an add-on. It seemed affordable. 
What is this? What is Disney? Pl- By the way, shout out <laughs> HBO Max if <laughs> you can <laughs> find <laughs> it. <laughs> shout out HBO Max. Hopefully the messaging becomes clear sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. God yeah. bless, God bless. I'm on there. I mean, Disney- I'm on HBO Max. Look it up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, look it up. That's why I said shout out. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to work with HBO Max. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Sure. I, I want to make new content. I want to make. I want to make sure. Listen, God bless HBO Max. Yeah, I just, God bless it. I, I'm on there, and uh, you know, and and I want I want us to beat everybody. Chris, yes. Uh, about 15 years ago, mm-hmm. if you needed an erection and couldn't get one, did you have any alternatives? I had nothing to do. What I would actually usually used to do is stick my penis in a pencil sharpener and see if that would work. But in 2020, that's not going to work. Well, I would think the only thing I could do in 2020, the only feasible solution is I would take a blue chew. That's right. What is blue chew? Blue chew, what it is, is it's the first chewable with the same FDA-approved ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. That's it's important. exactly what it is. Okay. And I bet you blue chew is made in the USA. Oh, uh, survey says it's made in the USA and it's prescribed by online physicians. So you don't you have to go, go to the doctor, doctor to wait in line because the worst thing you want yeah. is someone, uh, some erectile dysfunction package to show up at your doorstep. Next thing you know, your family knows you can't get boners. That's it. And it's probably, you know, let me ask you this. It's probably more expensive than a pharmacy. Uh, it is actually not more expensive really? than the pharmacy. It's cheaper than the pharmacy. Whoa. And if you go to bluechew.com right now and put in the promo code, hey, babe, guess what it actually is? It's free, Bubba's. All you do is pay the $5 for shipping. Free bonus. Free boners. Nothing's free this in this day and age. If bluechew.com, that's B L U E C H E W dot com, promo code hey babe. Hey that's babe. H E Y B A B E. You put in that promo code, you get Blue Chews for free. All you got to do is $5 shipping. And if you don't order now, you may not get in time for Christmas. And what do you want to do? You want to wake up Christmas morning and not have a boner? I the, the last thing I ever would want in my life is for my daughter to be opening her presents and her to look up and not see her father with a boner. <laughs> <laughs> That's B L U E com promo code Hey Babe H E Y B A B E Hey Babe to try it for free. For free. Happy Harder Days. <laughs> Chris, I want to speak to you about Lucy for a moment. Go ahead, speak. Lucy is a nicotine company founded by Caltech scientists and uh, former smokers looking for a better and cleaner nicotine alternative. Finally, tobacco alternatives that don't suck. And that's what it's about. I would say in 2020, during a pandemic, one of the worst things we could possibly be doing is smoking cigarettes. absolutely correct. Lucy... Gives you the answer if you're currently smoking cigarettes to not affect the lungs because it's a nicotine alternative. Well, I mean, what more do you want? It comes in cinnamon, wintergreen, pomegranate. There's well, hold on, no, no, no. it doesn't come in pom- it comes in cherry ice. Wait a second. Uh, what gum comes in pomegranate? Lucy, they are really blazing trails as far as flavors of gum are concerned. Oh my goodness gracious. This is the real deal. A subscription to Lucy comes directly to your door each month. It's so simple. You don't even leave your house you don't even leave because it. Lucy has delivery down. down. All you have to do is go to Lucy.co, not com, Lucy.co, C-O, and put in the promo code Hey Babe H-E-Y-B-A-B-E, at checkout. You get not five, not 10, not 15, but 20. Oh, my God. Viente, for our Spanish-speaking audience, 20. 20. Per- percenta. Down. That's crazy. Twenty yeah. percent off. It's like a, off. it's like another. Bla- it's like they're, they're saying today's Black Friday. That's what they're saying. They're saying, they're saying. Look, we want you to have this nicotine alternative so bad, we're willing to give eighty percent of it just away. You know what? We also have to say this disclaimer warning. Yeah. This product contains nicotine derived from tobacco, and nicotine is an addictive chemical. But I will tell you this: I have people in my family that smoke, and that I want to bring this to when I visit them for the holidays, and hopefully, I help them on a better path. Yeah, that's a better path because. I understand nicotine's an addictive chemical, but so is hugging my family members who smoke, and I don't want them to die early, so I'm going to push, push Lucy on them so they stop smoking cigarettes and they choose the nicotine alternative because everybody loves people with fresh smell and breath, and that's another benefit from Lucy is your breath smells good and you don't have to be smoking six. You got pomegranate breath. Uh, I like that they named it Lucy and not like Kevin. I like no, Lucy's yeah. better. I like, um, yeah. It's Lucy.co. Use the promo code HeyBabe, H-E-Y-B-A-B-E, at the checkout. You get 20% off. I mean, who wants to run? be running to the store now for cigarettes? And how expensive are cigarettes, too? So expensive. The last, How many times were, were, would you and I drive down to North Carolina just to get a pack of cigarettes off a Native American reservation because they got a discount because there's no taxes? A we few times a day we did that. We don't got to do it at all anymore. No. Because now we just go to Lucy.co. 
Put in the promo code Hey Babe at checkout. We get the nicotine alternative for twenty percent off. Boom, bang, done. Yeah. I literally good, good luck was for to us yesterday filming supposed to film a scene from Michael Che's new sketch which has already been announced called Community Service on HBO Max and my scene was I rained. know about that because Che called me to be on it too my scene was rained down and I was he, told he it will not be replaced yeah, and he also did not call me at all he didn't call you yeah no yeah. he's actually Che probably hasn't answered my last dozen texts yeah well, he might have changed his number and service provider well he actually just got back to me for the first time in months saying that he has a new I, number I, I also kid I kid I understand what it's like but shout out my Che Shay. by the way you know just I'm over here I mean, I'm your show. friend, apparently, and uh, yeah. every once in a while we have a barn burner together, and then I yeah. don't see you for a gestation period. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get on, hey, babe, I mean, you'll do what's right. Yeah, you want to get on this. I mean, this I mean, is where it's all a spot going, right here babe. The tide's all coming this Absolutely. way. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Um, Come on, show us your toes. I want to see Michael Chase toes. I'm putting it out there right now. I want to see his feet. I want to know what he's dealing with with his feet. Right. That's what it is. This fell off the wall. Yes, this, we need this a is, this is up this. as a joke because I, I I filmed this dinner show and it was up there because they gave it to me as a gift and I mentioned that before and uh uh we it fell right before this it and, fell. and you said just lean it up I would say and just I'm like it. we don't even need this here but if we take it away it's a blank wall behind us but we well, we maybe maybe some a fan can make a painting an an oil an old oil painting or a famous painting with you and I in it together. Yes, we would like I that. I don't maybe us in like a colonial outfit or something like that. Oh, you love it. I As love a matter the time. Fact, you you know history. Pick the period that you want us in. I for me, I would say the American Revolutionary War period. I would like to see me in a continental soldier uniform, Sal and I. Well, maybe I, you could even do this if you'd like to do this. I'd like to have Sal as a continental soldier with the gun and musket, and you could paint you me as a woman in a corset. Oh, I love it. I love that. I love Just it. Paint me as, maybe as, a, as, a, as a handmaid. Maybe in a prairie or a plateau, I like a rolling it. plateau. I would love Something it. Something vibrant, bright, a lot of greens. Yeah. I love you to have the dress with the... Don't they have their dresses with like the like the framework in it so it stays out yes. like a bell? Yes, that's yeah. what I want. You're in that. Um, so also, so so you asked me about you know getting on a flight and going to Europe and going crazy, which I I did and I did to Scotland, which was wild. On this, I've done the extreme other thing then as well. I was booked to do an you know I don't know if people from this club are going to hear this. If you are sorry, I actually got booked to go. To England and Scotland on a trip to do. I'm sorry, I got booked to go to Northern England. Um, uh, what's the town in Northern England? Um, there's a town. The 1975. My favorite band is from there. Um, oh, Newcastle. It? Newcastle. Newcastle, England. There was the comedy. I love Club. Newcastle actually. This I love Newcastle. The yeah. stand. New the stand Newcastle. I was shout out Newcastle. Shout out Newcastle. Shout out great beer. I've been to Newcastle and, three times in the last three years. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. New, it's the best. I love Newcastle. Yeah. So. So I was in Newcastle, but I I was missing. You know, I was supposed to be there for about eleven. Dude, I stayed literally right there, right near that bridge. Good. It's beautiful, right? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So, I had went. I think it was two years ago, two summers ago, to watch the. It was set up beautiful because the Yankees were playing the Red Sox in London, and I had bought f two tickets, like four hundred dollars, to go to the game. I had gotten there. I had got. The problem is, is right before I was about to go to London, day one, I got booked to do something in San Francisco, the Comedy Central Cluster Fest. So I had to tack on uh, yeah. three more days that I was going to be away from I my daughter. This. I remember this. And my family. So I fly. So I'm three days out. And, you know, for me, leaving my daughter, it was tough, whatever. My friend was supposed to come meet me. He was supposed to come meet me. Uh, he works for JetBlue. Shout out Debo. He he works for JetBlue. He shout out JetBlue Mint. Shout out JetBlue Mint. I they like it. It's affordable. Yes. As far as first class goes, and they really, it really is. They feel like they care. And honestly, uh, you get to pick three options on the menu. Yes, you do. You know, and they give you free Wi-Fi. High speed. It's actually called FlyFi. FlyFi, it is. Yeah. This chair has a massage component the to best. it. But by the way, if I'm going to be honest, if I'm shooting straight and I'm going to give props where they do, the massage component on that chair leaves a little something to be desired. Yes. Yeah. 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 I agree. But I like going in the solo pod and then they give you a door and you close the door and it feels like you're in your own little bedroom. You can jerk off in there. Yeah. You the, can. Yeah. The Do you? Do you? I have. Yeah, the jet and also JetBlue. Now speaking of that, they're going to London. JetBlue is going for, is 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 for the first time this having is flights to me. They're, this Google is news it. to me, I, and I'm, I'm usually to I am usually all over JetBlue's routes. Google JetBlue London, pimp. It just dropped. JetBlue, there it is. <laughs> JetBlue says like, there it is. JetBlue likely of London Heathrow flights. It's about time. It's about they're going to has improved. It's about time. So the likelihood is approved. 
So, so anyway, so I'm in London. Yeah. And then I mean, I had a couple of shows in London and then I go, and then I go to Newcastle and I really miss home bad. Okay. And my friend can't get on the flights because he's like, people are, he can't, because, because with JetBlue and your employee of JetBlue, you can do standby and get on partnership airlines to get out to London. He okay. said, he was confident he can get on. He couldn't get on because so many people want to go out for the Major League Baseball game. Okay. The game. Okay. So I need a friend. I'm dying in this yeah. hotel, Newcastle, whatever. I keep saying I have stomach pains, whatever. He finally calls me and says, I can't do it. I can't get out there. So now I am facing three days in Newcastle, which I love, and another two more days because I have to wait because I want to go to the game. I have the tickets. Without my family expects me home on, I believe it was June 29th, because I believe I had tickets to the game June 20th. My family... T- on June 29th, they expect me home. On June 24th, <laughs> on June, the night of June 24th in Newcastle, I pick up the phone. Yeah. I call the Stan Comic, which I had already performed at two nights, has, was friends with the comics. Yeah. So we were supposed to go to a barbecue. All I've ever wanted to see is the water from England. I've wanted to look at the Atlantic Ocean from England. The guy the night before says he was a, he's a known comedian in England. I forget his name. Really nice guy. He says, I have a beach house in whatever, you know, Sussex on the Danbury, whatever their little sure. quaint towns Tumbridge are. Tumbridge Wells. Yeah. So he goes, we're going to have a barbecue tomorrow, you know, before the show, and then we'll go to the show, and it'll be beautiful. Great. I'm saying, great. My friend tells me that night, I, you know, because he, t- he tells me that at the show, then that night he says, I can't. My friend says, I'm not going to be able to make it. I just can't get on a flight, and I got to be in work, and I can't make it. My stomach pain starts to come back without even thinking about anything, without calling my manager, my agent, nothing. I call the club. I swear to God. Oh, yes. I call the Stand Comedy Club in that had just shown me, that had just talked to me an hour ago. I, I was supposed to have the shows the next night. I call them. I say, I have horrible news. My stepmother was just killed in an accident. I swear to God. I said she was just killed in a car accident to get out of the shows. I book a flight immediately in by the time. You had to give them a trump card. I, you yeah. had to give a checkmate, which I said, they can't say a word to what you just said. I said that but immediately, the, but but you'll never be back there now. Never in a million. Also, years. Also, that's playing with soup, like superstition and fire. That's playing with fire there. It was a because you could have said like a person that doesn't exist, right? Which I wasn't. Which in hindsight, I I made, but I but you. I, in what I was going to say, she's healthy. She's healthy as a whistle. I've told her this. She said it's fine. Or whatever you want to come home, I understand. You she's told a, her she's a safe. You driver. told her that you told her that you told the Stan Comedy Club yeah. in Tunbridge Wells yeah. that she passed. And I also told my mother that. And my mother told me the only way to reverse that is to go to confession and say the rosary, which I've done. Which you've done, and I went everyone to, knows that. That's the only way to reverse. I went to the everyone knows that. So, I re- so that's why I was yeah. confident saying it because I reversed it because yeah. I went. You went to the local church in Bay Ridge. I, I, no, I went to actually. You kneeled down. No, I went to Ridgewood. I went to St. Matthias Church. Okay, Father Kent, and I and I and I told him. You that took this, a knee. Yeah, you told him. I told the Stand Comedy Club in Tunbridge Wells. My stepmom died because. Depot couldn't make it out there because of JetBlue. I don't want to get into it right now I with the whole <laughs> routes. But, and he was like, you're just saying our father, and then we'll undo the death of your stepmother, the fake death. It's, it's, I'm, I'm being honest, Sal. I, it, I am too. Almost verbatim told him for sins. I said what I, <laughs> <laughs> I always said. List the sins right list now. List the sins. Which is a sin. Which I is think a you sin. You can't list the sins now. I said, I said. I, I cursed. I said, I've taken the Lord's name in vain. I made a, I made a right on red when I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, I said, yeah, but those, you know, those I rules stole are stole nerds. No, no. I said, I swear, Sal, I'm being honest. I said, I said, I, I. I took the Lord's name in vain. I masturbated because you can't do that. And I said I used, I told, I, I made up a lie about my stepmother being killed in an accident because I was having stomach pains in England, almost <laughs> word for word. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. Wait a second. I, I, all right. Even worse than you confessing yeah. to Father Kent that you lied about the death of your stepmom because of stomach pain, I have never entered a confessional booth and thought about bringing up masturbation. Yeah. Like I just figure, like it's a it's a gimme. I honestly, like you're doing it. He's doing it too. The priest I, is probably doing it. And I'm not even saying that to disparage priests, but yeah. like I don't see anything wrong with it. If you have to do what you need to do in order to get up every day and just biologically assuage your body, 
I do two you things do. every but t- you think I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you. No, I don't even mean. I don't even mean to. Yeah. But I grew up Catholic. I have I don't know why I got that. Yeah, but like God bless. Yeah, yeah. God, I mean God bless. God bless. Shout out to Catholics. Shout out to Catholic. Shout out to any religion you want to be Shout out to all religions. I was raised Catholic. I went to Catholic school from kindergarten to senior year of college. Same with me. All that jazz. And uh, you know, well, you know, here or there. My point is is that I would never walk into a confessional booth. And even my mind wouldn't even begin to think about talking about masturbating with that priest. Here's what he was my go to. Bless me for my sins. I fought with my sister. I didn't listen to my parents. And I threw something in there that was like a like a little bit of a smoke screen, and I probably didn't say the worst thing each month. Or right, it was. right. But I would never tell him that I autoerotically. Yeah. Pleasured myself. Right. It's not a conversation I want to have one on one with a priest in a wooden yeah. booth. I don't know what I'm going to say after that. That's going. I don't need to be forgiven for that. I, and, God, and if God's listening right now, if He's real and He's listening, like then you understand. I'm imperfect. You made me this way. I don't feel like I need to tell the priest that I pleasured myself. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I fought with my sister. I cursed with my mom. That's it. Give me the give me the hail mary and the our father. By the way, I also used to note that it was inconsistent with the same priest each month because that was always my go to sin. Right. For my sister, maybe I didn't listen to my parents. That right. was really it. And sometimes he would go fast and loose with the penance. Yeah. And he would tell me do one and one, do three and three. Sometimes he'd drop on me, do like a rosary. Right. And I was like, I don't know if you know this. Yeah. But I was here last month and I said the same exact thing. Yeah. I got out with three prayers. Totally. Yeah, change in three the prices. prayers net. Change in the prices. <laughs> Now you want me to do a rosary? Something's up here. Yeah. Something's up because if you can't be consistent, just like a podcast, right? if you can't be consistent, people aren't going to come around anymore. I, 100%, 100% consistency is key. Professional Catholicism and that kind of thing is much like podcasts. The similarities are, yeah, we have a kid in the basement right now. Right. Yeah. So, 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 so I, the last. What What did you feel like when you told him that you, excuse my language, but. Yeah. You know, masturbated. Masturbated yourself. I may have even said jerked off, but I think I said masturbated. That's bold. But here's what I do, Sal. And and the thing is, you ask me how I feel, but for me, it's very common. I religiously, no pun intended, religiously go to confession to this day, go to confession. I I haven't been to confession during the pandemic, but I went to confession in 2019. I went to confession probably six times. I consistently go. I'll visit my, usually before I go visit my mom who still lives in my childhood home, I go to confession Saturdays at at noon at St. Matthias Church. Why though? It's just- Nothing against religion. Shout out religion. The Catholicism in me. And I do consistently the same thing because I'm just a chaotic human being. I will go. But do you feel cleansed and purged? I do, but I always leave. So you feel- the spiritual effects of the confession. Spiritual effects of the confession. But usually, I I will leave, before I even leave the confession, I've committed another sin that I haven't atoned for. I'll explain. I always, Please. I always go to confession. A lot of people go. There's, when you go to, if you're not Catholic or if you are Catholic and don't remember, when you go into the confessional booth, yeah. the, most times now in modern times, there's a chair and you face the priest. Hit and me you, with the act of contrition right and, now. Well, that's what I'm saying. And you talk to the priest. What I do purposely (laughs) is I go behind the veil so he can't see me. The priest can't see me. He just listens. Maybe just your silhouette. Because I say I masturbated. I know I'm going to have to say that face-to-face, and that's tough. And I have the- Oh, I've never done a face-to-face confession in my entire life. Is that the thing? No, well, I'm behind people, him. I'm behind the paywall. So I do behind the paywall. Patreon.com slash no pressure network. You got to hit the, uh, the, you got to hit the (laughs) Hey Babe confessional. Yeah. So, so I do that for two reasons because I always, we should do Patreon for Patreon. We should do like once, like, you know, a week or something like that. We should do a single confession. Yes. Even if it's a 10 second video, it's a single confession. It's a Patreon confessional. Pimps writing it down. And we just, we just, maybe it's something someone doesn't know about us up until that moment. And we do it and it's, it's all for the Patreon. Yeah, babe. Hey babe. So, so I, I, for two reasons, I Go to that behind the behind the paywall of the confessional because I'm always going to tell the priest I masturbated because I always masturbate, and I will always have the act of contrition preloaded on my cell phone and read it out loud when he asks me to say it. And every time he says, <laughs> most people don't have it memorized, I'm pretty impressed, and I say thank you. 
I don't tell. So I've you're lied. You're lying during the confessional. That's what I'm saying. Another thing is, by the way, you're not supposed to say your penance and then just start jerking off again. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to be like, I jerked off my bed. I will change my ways. You're walking out of there probably just adjusting. Your, <laughs> you're, I, yeah, listen to me. Like I, people, you know what I notice? People are, like people get hung up on stuff. They right. couldn't believe we weren't familiar with how maggots are born. Right. Everybody, take a goddamn chill pill. I know. Right? Everyone's like, nuts. you don't even. You guys, are, I'm kidding. Even you don't know that flies lay eggs, and that's how I'm like, right? I'm like, all right, I'm not in tune with yeah. maggotry. Yeah, like, okay, take it easy, take it down a notch. Not all of us know everything about everything, yeah, because we didn't know about maggots, they sounded awful. awful. You guys, calm down about uh, the maggots. Mag- yeah, the other thing is, oh, you what guys are acting like, another <laughs> 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 thing is, what do you got the pillow for? What are you hiding behind that pillow? An erection, yeah. and I will tell you. Right now, out of all, out of all the, the things we've, out of all the hours we've done this podcast, all the episodes, I've maybe had an erection on here, maybe fifteen times. That's it. Not that much. Not that much. But I'm not. I, I'm on a couch. I'm wearing socks. This is a. This is the. The vibe here is that I'm just relaxing, okay? Um, you know, there's nothing, there's no, we don't need to put on airs. No. I, this is how I sit on a couch. That's how you sit on you the couch. You know I sleep with six pillows? Yes, I if do. I, if I can. Yeah. Four is my regular, and, and I cannot fall asleep without three. Yeah. I'm a pillow guy. I You're like this. I have guy. a pillow here. I have a pillow. I go between the legs. It's a comfort thing. And nobody. I'm not hiding Owners. Nobody goes in a deeper sleep than Sal. Multiple times That's I've true. had to contact Sal's family members. That's true. Because I would be in his hotel room. So, you know, he would get like a, a big You'd room. You'd go I, like the gym and we were like, we, were so, we roomed together, you know, sometimes. because it's just, you know, We it's don't easier. sleep in the same bed or no, anything. No, no, not, there's separate a, parts. not there's anything wrong with that. But you would go to like the gym and then you come back at like, because you used to get up early because it's so, Delilah. Yeah. But, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You used to get up early because you know yeah. you have a young child, yeah. and then and then what happens is you come and then you forgot your key. Yeah. And what I do is when I go to sleep, I put my head in between two pillows it's like un- a sandwich. You've never seen anything like this because like, I want to block out. It's like a sensory dep- deprivation thing. Yes. Sound, light, everything. I put it in between the two, and then I don't hear the door, and you had to call home. Yes. And then like then you had to call the front, whatever you did. But yeah, I do sleep. I, I literally alerted his family. I said, I can hear his alarm going off, and, <laughs> yeah, he, and it's true. been for over an hour. <laughs> and then one of your family members said, that's just Sal. Don't worry. He'll wake up soon. And then yeah. you did. Yeah. yeah it yeah, was yeah. it was actually terrifying. Yeah. But we, we just took, I don't know. We, the, the pillows. No, but why do we get into the, the oh, sleeping no. on the oh, road? you said you hide boners with your pillows. Oh, yeah, After but you I guys, said, I jerk you off. guys, just you guys, your theories are crazy. And this is not this is not a boner pillow. And also, I mean, great. Now I know. Now I know. Yeah. Now I learned from you guys that maggots arrive from fly eggs. Yeah, thank maggots you. Arrive, and it's all it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Act of contrition. If I can go, if you can give me the beginning, I'll see if I could do it. The first words. They also, by the way, they've changed it. But I'll give you what I remember. I don't remember the first words of the act of Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. No, the first one is, oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's the original. The original act of, of contrition starts with, oh, oh my, my God. God. OMG, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee. That sounds like the act of contrition 2020. Yeah. <laughs> OMG, I'm sorry for having offended thee. Okay, by the way, I guess offense is now just coming back into favor because this is a traditional verse. So little do we know, history repeats itself. People were getting offended way back when. Way back then. And then the next part is I detest all my sins. That's wild. Because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell. But most of all, my God, who are all good and deserving of all my I love. I don't know this literature. Not even a second. It's heavy handed. What is the perfect act of contrition we've Googled? Can I can I tell you right now? Bless you, Father, for I have sinned. Oh, here's another one. Used to go, it has been blanks weeks since my last confession. They let you fill that part in yourself. Yes. Yeah. And I would always just shave a week or two off. Oh, yeah. Because I I mean, look. When's the last time you've been in confession? Oh, it's gotta be years. It's gotta be. I, I don't know. It's gotta be uh, high school. Wow. Well, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, should. I don't, I, I, I would, I, I had, I've gone to church since then, right? But I haven't done the whole process of going and saying like this and that. Give we me should, the, we should go to confession, put it on the YouTube. <laughs> would that offend, or offend, or would we be putting eyes on religion? Uh, not that we're so bold that we put eyes on religion, but you know, if we promote 
that's really promoting Catholicism, depending on what handle you, what you pick it up from. Yeah. So we go, and we just hit record. It, that that would be. Yeah. I would never do that. <laughs> if this is not released <laughs> behind the paywall, edit that part out. No, I would never do that. But also, I can see. It's like an expose. It really right. is like journalistic reporting. Right. Behind the walls. Behind of the cath- walls. Of, cath- of Catholicism. Of Catholicism. It would, be, it would be really funny for us to write each other's sins and go and see what a penance is. Yes. Like, you know, no, nothing criminal. Right. Anything that we could dream up within non, the non-criminal boundaries. We don't show each other. We write on a, in an envelope. We seal it. Right. You open it when you get in. I literally mean you open that when you get in and vice versa. We hit, little, we hit the recording app on our phone and we just do an exercise in Catholicism. Right. Listen to me. I'm a tw- I'm a, I went to Catholic school at four years old. I'm 44. Same with me. I'm a 40-year Catholic. If I don't have the right yeah. to go in and just try to understand Catholicism right. more, I don't know who does. I don't know who does. That would be a real fun thing for, for the Patreon. 100%. Um. I'm, da- I'm, I'm so down to do this. I don't know if we could do that without ruining our careers. But then Why again, honestly, the for? Catholic Church at large right now, I was gonna say they the, need PR as well. The Catholic Church has done a lot to ruin their own careers. Yeah, and nothing against Catholics. Nothing. And nothing against, against Catholicism. No. But let's be honest with each other because we need to respect each other and respect reality. There's been some issues. There's been some, I mean, who, yeah, I mean, like. Not everybody. Not they, everyone. Yeah. But there's been some issues. There's been some issues. So who are we to cast stones? On people that just want to go in and give Patreon content. I'm down. I'm down to do it, dude. I'm down to do it. Yeah, P- Pimp's down to do it. Pimp doesn't care. Pimp's a soul. It's heathen. Yeah. He yeah, doesn't yeah. care. He is. So, bless me, Father, for I've seen. So, I always lied. I'd say it has been like two weeks since my last confession. Right. Maybe it's been like a month. Right. These are my sins. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, wait, so that isn't the act of contrition. What the hell is the act of contrition? I think it's... It bless- I, I, I don't... Yeah, I, I always Google no, but, it, and then I... What I, the f*** is the act of contrition? I always hey, Google- babe. Hey, babe, I always Google it, and then I forget it immediately because I read it right off the preloaded oh picture. God. You keep pulling up OMG. The tr- let's do the, 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 yeah, the new version, not the traditional you version. That would be amazing. You go to confession, and you hit him with a traditional. Oh, my God. And you're like, I detest, I'm offended. And he might be like, this is a Catholic right here. That's how you get the priest. This is straight cast. That If you want a priest to jerk off, you do the traditional act of yeah. contrition for them. Yeah. They can't. He's like, uh, I'm hiring if you have, like, you yeah, know, like, yeah. like you, if you go in there and hit them with a traditional. I, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Am I reading it like the wrong way? The, the act, first thing is, my, my God. God. I, I am sorry. For, for my, and this, please, we don't want mail here. I'm a Catholic. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Catholic also a Catholic. You. I went to Catholic grammar school, high school, and college. I, My entire family is Catholic. I have a cross tattooed on me. Let me be. Yes. I'm going to read the act of contrition, but I'm going to put some emphasis in it. I'm going to deliver it. Absolutely. <sighs> my God. I am sorry for my sins with all my heart. <sighs> and choose. Oh, I remember this now. In choosing to do wrong and failing to do good, I have sinned against you. I remember it was thee. Thee. Whom I should love above all things. I remember this. I firmly intend, with your help, and I thought it was also in the help of my peers, whatever, to do penance, to sin no more. Yes. And to avoid whatever leads me to sin. This is the one. It wasn't my God. It was, oh my God. It was, oh, it was always, oh my God. Oh my God. Or dear my, oh my God. Yeah. It was more like, it's almost like, oh my, my God. It's almost like, Not, oh it's, my God. It's almost like the prayer is like beginning like, holy shit. I'm yeah. sorry holy for my shit. sins. <laughs> holy shit. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> yeah. You know what I did. I my don't even got to say it, but you're going to make me say it. Yeah. That's another thing, by the way. Yeah. Can't you just walk in? And, like, they know what you did, and they don't have to put you through the shame yeah. of being like, I, I masturbated. It's almost like... It's like, co- I know, you know, I know you know. Yeah. That, we know you I lied. Did. We know you stole. We know you masturbated. That's what everybody does. I came here today. If you have and told. Yes. I'm here because I'm sorry. Right. You're going to make me say it? It's almost like you should come in and say, we know you did the bad ones. Is there any mortal ones? Did you kill anyone? Did you rape anyone? Oh, and... Let's talk about that. And is that, that. like HIPAA? Are they not allowed to talk about? Is that like priest? That's Hippa? a great question. If I come in is and say I murdered someone, is there a legal obligation 
to report you for murdering somebody. I don't think so. Because you're now it's like because the priest says, who do you want to f with more? Do you want to do you want to deal with the state, the government of the state of New York, it's a or do you want to break church and state, or do you want to break the word of God Himself, right. yeah, who's anointed the, you? The priest is he, does he want to tie church to state? Can you Google if a, okay, any priest who breaks the seal of confession is subject to the church's most severe penalty. Automatic excommunication. Canceled. Re- canceled. canceled. Only revo- Cancel culture. Revoked only by the Pope himself who's liking Brazilian gotta- models pics on Instagram. Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> You're a priest. You've been a priest for 15 years. You're great. Yeah. Someone comes to you and goes, listen, I just killed a bunch of people. How many have fathers? Right. And you go, yeah, they, they got like 100. Come next week. Yeah, don't do it again. And then the priest that night is like, I got, I got, I got. Gotta gotta tell the police. The, the guy killed a cool dozen people. Yeah, I gotta tell people. And then he has to do the walk of shame. He gets canceled. Canceled. Excommunication. By the way, everybody right now, the trend right now, you're just riding the jock of Catholicism. That's what it is. Excommunication is the original cancel. And then he's got to go with his tail between his legs to the to the papal dude. To, the, to where is the pope? Uh, uh, What's it called? Vatican City. Vatican. Yeah. He's got to go to the Vatican. And then the Pope's like, dude, dude, you cannot tell people when people murder people. Dude. You should be ashamed the of yourself. The Catholic Church is so ahead of the game. They're so before the times. they the original cancelers. And then, and then he's the only one that could pardon. The only one. That's he, what I said. Now, all of a dude, sudden, the Pope's handing out pardons left and right. He's tr- <laughs> dude. The Pope is the original... The really po- Trump, dude, really. The, the, the Pope, the, the Catholic Church the is so ahead of the time. They're the original, the, you got the original Trump, the original cancelers, and they were the original ones to do the show cuties. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. So a priest would have to internally, he would have to internalize the knowledge of a murderer telling him that, what if I tell him, I'm sorry, but I can't promise you, priest, that I might not kill again. And the you have like, to say something. The priest is like, just say this, and then the priest has to just not tell anybody? You have to. I, I, I don't know. There and then the priest is shamed and has to go ask the Pope of forgiveness if he does. Now, I don't know if that's noble or silly. It's, it's silly. It's, it's silly. They can't use discretion. You can't give the priest discretion. But what maybe, is it? You know what? Oh, he look, here we got convicted murderer, 31-year-old Jose Morales, walked out of prison Tuesday, liberated, liberated by the testimony of Father Joseph Towel, who's, or is it Towley? T-O-W-L-E. Both are great. Father Towel, who told the court that shortly after the murder, Jesus Fornes admitted to him that he was the killer. Well, this guy, not for nothing, the guy who killed someone's name is Jesus. Yeah. This is convoluted. This is this wild. Is, there's, there's, there's more problems here. Yeah. There's bigger problems because that priest is like, this guy's name is, it, the guy's name is Jesus. He said, yeah. He So he had to go into a police priest and say, I'm a priest. Jesus is killing again. Because he said, Rob, what's called the sacred seal of confession. If a priest breaks what is called a sacred seal of confession, he will be subject to excommunication. Let's review how you become a priest because it takes, it's like becoming a doctor, dude. It's insane. You got to go to the seminary. I'll tell you right now, kindergarten. I, a kid I went to kindergarten with, Mm -hmm. I went to school with him from K through eight. Yeah. I won't name him on on here just for respect and privacy. In kindergarten, I swear to you in your eyeballs Everyone in kindergarten, 32 kids, said this kid's going to be a priest. He became an altar boy. He became a priest. That kid that we set called as a, out as a priest in, in pre-K. At five years old. Right now, today, is currently right now, priest. is running my... Uh, local parish. Parish. My local parish. He's now the guy. He took over. He, I went to kindergarten with him. And we knew. And he did. It was his calling. Wow. It's unbelievable. Can you read that? I, I mean, this is... Depends on what it is a long process. This is what it takes to be a priest. Six to eight years entering a seminary right out of high school, going to be eight to nine years. And then he put parentheses, only five and a half left. Yeah. This is a person answering a question on Cora. 
Quora. Quora. Uh, you give up a lot of freedom. You don't apply to a seminary to become a priest. You apply to a local church or diocese. This means that ultimately it's the bishop's choice, for instance, uh, where you will go to seminary. There's also quite a few rules and standards you have to follow depending on the diocese. Uh, some of my friends from this one diocese are not only forbidden to date, but also cannot dance, grow a beard, or drink in public. Well, I'll tell you right now, that is the Sal Volcano trifecta. Yeah. If I can't have a beard, a hot toddy, and shake my ass, <laughs> yeah. it's not going to happen. As yeah. much as I love Jesus, you can't take you can't dance away. Yeah. I, everyone knows me. If I go on a dance floor, what will they say? First thing they say, he left it all out there. He left it they all out there. They will say I left it all out there because I don't go on a dance floor without leaving it all out. Every time I come off a dance floor, I have nothing left. I, and I cannot give that up even for the Lord. But I didn't. I never heard. Of, this is like a footloose type of deal. It's. I mean, it's insane. There have to be eighteen, nineteen year old kids who are in this seminary who have at least gotten blowjobs or had sex with prostitutes during it's just this a time. law of averages. They have to have done it, and then still went on to become a priest. And then they lie. And then what do they live in sin their whole life? Can they confess their own sin? I think do only a pope sin? can. Yeah. I mean, we know they sin, but like in. Like moderate sinning and in general terms. Are priests going like we go to therapy in the gym? Are they going to confessions just like we're expected to because they're only human? They were born with original sin and they make. Did a priest have a, a steal, you know, a, a zag nut from a, from a delicatessen and have to be like, you know what? The funds well, were low. Listen, also, I mean, it's just the way the human brain is wired. I mean, I would say priests might be, they might be the chronic masturbators if they can't. Have sex with a woman. I mean, they're they're masturbating a lot. What do you expect? Or sex these with a guy? Honestly, I'm not even coming they down have to on marry. a priest. Let's, let's, you're going to study married. your whole life. You can't dance. You can't grow a beard. You it's you nine, year, nine beer? years of school, and then you're supposed to like literally fight your biological urges. I understand if you're a priest watching, and I know we have a lot of priest listeners. <laughs> if you're a priest watching, you might. I get it, and I'm not holding it against you. But it is wild to me that they have to internalize. They're expected to internalize. The confession of a murder. It's uh, it's it's a lot of pressure on them, and I, yeah, I don't know. This is an, a fascinating episode learning about the priests. If you, I would love to have a priest on the podcast. Yeah, I would love. I to could do reach that. out. I can reach out. I, don't, I, I haven't talked to the guy in thirty years, but I mean, we knew he was going to be a priest. I mean, like if I if I go to him, so does that? Then do you think that? Encourages, are you wearing Lulu's by the way, or no? These are Lulu's, and they are from the. Uh, there was like some special edition, like, like elevated Lulus that I bought into. Okay, and I paid a little bit more money than the usual Lulus, and they're okay. But I, I don't know if they're worth the extra money. But shout out Lululemon again. We're here. By the way, shout out Lululemon. I love them. Also, we've talked about this Tommy John underwear. I want to say shout out to you guys. I'm wearing they're, them right now. They're hat. I am too. They're mold. I'm talking about five of them though. I've ripped a hole in with farts. There has to be some type of thread for a gassy man because it's it's five pairs now that have full holes in them. Do you have you had a, any hole in your I, underwear? I, I don't. The only time I had a small hole was um, uh, I used fabric softener, and it's an if you know Lou, uh, if you know Tommy J, if you know the product, uh, it's it's on the label. You don't use fabric softener, right? And when I was in the beginning of my 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 you know. Finding them, I used some fabric softener. I think that tore a hole. Okay. A sw- okay. By the way, I still have that pair, and it's still the same size hole. Yeah. So the retention on a new hole is, is yeah. decent. You got to do something about. I know a lot of guys fart into the underwear, but I mean, I, I've blown five holes now. In, you really in, have. You and they're thirty-two dollars, so they've got to be thirty-two dollars. It's the second skin trunk. Because- you know, it's like they're, you, they're, you, it's it's you, a lot. Really? So you then, then you just have to toss a pair? I don't toss yeah. them out until my girl says, you, well, I can't wash these anymore. <laughs> so you just blow holes. Blow holes in them. Through the manufacturing process. It's unbelievable. It, it's, you know, because I don't know if I have like a wide set asshole or something, but I thought. Yeah, but, 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 yeah, but let's be honest, that's air. It's gaseous air passing through something that's porous. Why is it blowing a hole through them? I think it might be the heat. I think I, I think I I think I have you a hot think fart. that you pass gas with <laughs> such a temperature yes that you're singeing synthetic fibers <laughs> that's what I think I think because it's yeah can can you fall can you position blow? underwear so that said hole will be burnt in desired location oh my god for it's real, not though. possible to fart through underwear who said that that's another Quora. thing from Quora 
No, 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 no. It is, is it, it is actually possible to fart a hole <laughs> through this is underwear. underwear. <laughs> yeah. What, I can't read that. I'm sorry. My roommate left the most ripped up holy undies I've ever seen on our bathroom floor. He claims it's from farting a lot. Is that possible? <laughs> is it possible? <laughs> is it? It has to I, be. But by the way, a million results of can I blow a, heart, a fart through my it, a hole through my underwear? Holes in your underwear can be caused by a variety of factors. Some of them chemical, and some of them related to the stress of the seams. Fluids that leak onto your underwear can erode the cotton and lead to holes as time passes. <laughs> Wearing underwear that's too small can put extra stress in the elastic. Well, I did. My ass has gotten bigger. <laughs> it might what? be a combination. <laughs> what happens if you fart inside yourself? <laughs> Trying to hold it in leads to a buildup of pressure and major discomfort. A buildup of intestinal gas can trigger abdominal distension, mm -hmm. with some gas reabsorbed into the circulation and ex exhaled in your breath. <laughs> holding on, what? Uh, holding on too long means the buildup of intestinal gas will eventually escape via an uncontrollable <laughs> fart. <laughs> How many times would you say, uh, if I have a pie chart, how many times would you say you, the, a fart that you release is uncontrollable? Uncontrollable. Well, give me give me 100 a pie chart. Uncontrollable? uncontrollable? Dude, dude, you can hold it in if you want. <laughs> if I wanted to, what, I would what, say what, what percentage? 60%. 60! It's the majority of them so are more, uncontrollable. The more farts are not that come out of you yeah. have nothing to do with you. Well, no, I, and I've sent you some of my farts. All the time. All the time, yeah. yeah. I think... Um, here, let me see if I can. I, mean, I, I don't ask for them, and I don't appreciate no, it. No, but I, but I've but done. I do appreciate it. But yeah, I don't, but I do. But you don't. But you do. Yeah, because but I, I do. Because if I'm being honest, so if I'm thinking about it right now, can I take them or leave them? Sure. Because they're interesting. But honestly, farts are funny. They'll always be funny. And that's that. Yeah, it's just you know you have them. Yeah. That's the one. Whoa, that sounds like a bass line. <laughs> that's the one that you said. I said you this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I said to you, real. That's Shout not out, real. That has that has chords in it. I swear to you, and you wrote that. that sounds like sound. Flea I said did to that. you, and you commented something like, "I texted this to you," yeah. and you said that's one of the most interesting sounding farts I've ever heard in my life. Don't you remember? I, I do now. I, text. Do, I absolutely one do. One more time. It's like, look here. Here we go. Dude, honestly, that <laughs> sounds like you were taking hole. upright bass lessons for six months. That that's will, what that sounds like to me. That should rip a how hole. How do you do? How do you affect? You were in. You did different octaves. Yeah, I, I, it's almost like you have like a, 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 a like like a Bach asshole. Yeah, I, like you have something going on there. That's yeah. that's you have a prodigy. Because then this is a more normal fart. Um, hold on. Yeah, I have them labeled. <laughs> <laughs> As a <laughs> and then and then there's <laughs> that, dude. I, honestly, I'll tell you right now. I'm alive about four decades now. I have never heard a fart like that. Yeah, I have never heard. It's amazing. It goes up. A, it, it, I don't know the rules of music, but it obeys them. Yeah. Does it not? It goes in a harmonious fashion up a scale. Up a scale, yeah. It starts low, and it really feels like it slaps. Like yeah. Like the bass, like you hear like... Yeah, it's it's one... Of, you said... Oh, yeah, because I sent you... On Friday, October 2nd at 3.18, I sent you this, which you said, and then you said, was that real? That was extremely unique. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. And I said, yes, that's real. It was shocking when it came out. It was like multiple gears and recorded, picked up mid fart. And then you said, no way you could have predicted that prior to hitting record. That's a home run if I've ever seen one. I said, yeah, it's actually special. Like a can't miss fart. And I got it. Sent it to my mother. And you wrote, ha, ha, ha. Wow, that's yeah. talent. Yeah. Ta yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. If you could do that. You might yeah. be able to monetize that. That's uh, what. One hundred percent. Get on the Patreon. You know, you know, we all, you guys are missing. That should be a drop. That's that should it. be a drop. Yeah. Because it sounds like like. Yeah. Like almost like that kind of like you know yeah. we should get that we should isolate it and we should make it mean something. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's and that's. That. I mean, grassroots. If I've ever seen it. It's grassroots, so that's so make that, our own sound I, effects. So hearing that, if someone from Tommy John or underwear company is hearing the fluctuation and the different speeds I have with the fart, maybe that is contributing to the hole in the underwear. Yeah, it's possible. And what we should really also, we, I know every time we do this podcast, we're like, should we call it something else? It should be, but I digress as well because yeah, I have never seen Shrek. Just which to get is, back to what this conversation was about that we never talked about, which is so 
insane. It's almost like I'd rather not do a second episode. I'd rather watch Shrek. Or I'd rather do a watch and a watching Shrek episode. A watch along. A watch along episode. Do that. Like a Doug Benson I've, I've for Shrek. That. I would do that. I would yeah. do a watch along. I mean, it's such a phenomenal movie. You didn't even. How about this? You walked in my door today and you said, I can't wait. To talk about Staten Island real estate. Right. We got 59 minutes has passed by. We haven't touched on it. Not one thing. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. So maybe we'll talk about Staten Island real estate in the next episode, and you don't want to miss that. You don't want to. There'll be more farts. Very unique. Very unique farts. Uh, shout out Catholic Church. Shout out Saratoga Peanut Butter. Well, as always. You got to get on the Patreon. Nick Lachey's apartment. What we should do is order some <laughs> We should do is we should order some Saratoga flavors, and then like you know, uh, you know, maybe maybe uh, maybe a, a once a, a, a week. A Patreon winner gets a free jug of sour, a free bottle of sour tub. If there's a time, <laughs> if there's a moment in my life that at, at some point in my life there will be a hey babe flavored Saratoga peanut butter, it would be second only to the birth of my child. As I, far I as don't, happiness. I, I gotta be honest, if Saratoga is listening. I met I've met you on the show. I've turned I've turned so many people onto this. I don't it's even want to tell you the best peanut butter I've ever tasted I don't wanna, in my life. I, w- I want to tell you something. I have I won't disclose we, off camera. I've told someone who's told someone who's told someone, and this person, th- this Saratoga brand has reached someone. I mean, Uber a list a list celebrities that are now hooked on Saratoga peanut butter. Wow. And and, and and it's coming. So if you want to do a hay baked flavor, do. yeah, we'll, we'll work with your chemists. So what are they cooks? Whatever it what is, what do they do? We'll make with the peanut makers, yeah. and we'll we'll design a hay baked flavor exclusive. Exclusive. That would be really nice. Someone, please start tweeting at Saratoga. Start and let Saratoga them know about peanut this. butter company. Tom, what really should happen is it really should be a, a Saratoga peanut butter Tommy John Lululemon type of, type of thing. I don't, yeah, with, on, on you can see it all on we're Disney giving Plus. Them, we're giving them it away for nothing right for now. For nothing. I don't mind about Saratoga, but Tommy John and Lululemon have to. We have to stand down. We have to stand down. We, got, we just. Let, I mean, people get good money for this kind of thing. They get great money, and we're just kind of going wild here. We're going wild. But that's what happens here on Hey Babe. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, No Pressure Network, uh, YouTube.com slash No Pressure Network, Patreon.com slash No Pressure Network. We got a lot of big things happening. The the podcast has launched. The seasons have launched. And uh, we got Taste Buds with Joe DeRosa and Sally V. We got me and Sally V doing Hey Babe. And it's just, it's the fun train. Yeah, get on now. Get on now. We're just in the first, in the beginning, and uh, yeah, we want we want to take this. This is gonna be. Fun. I want to do. I'm excited to do stuff like that, like interactive stuff. Yeah. with our listeners. So what that's gonna do. TBD. TBD. All right, guys, go to confession. Hey, hey babe. babe.